Hello fellow Star Wars fans, my name is Star Raptor and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be reviewing two new Star Wars comics that came out this week. The first one from Marvel is Dr. Raffer issue number six. I like how the cover is. The colors really pop on these characters. Pretty cool. And this is the start of a brand new arc. This is called The Engine Job. So I like how the story picks up where we are just dropped into the thick of it. Dr. Raffer is captured by Bounty Hunter. We're not sure what's going on here, but then we do get a flashback to this antagonist that is introduced in the last issue, and that is Domina Tag. She's a relative of the character of Ronan Tag, who was the antagonist in the previous arc until he was pretty much disintegrated, but we found out he was alive. His Ant, who is Domina Tag, found this out and puts a bounty on Dr. Raffer. And Domina Tag is somebody who is very influential in the sphere of distribution and whatnot. So she's got a lot of power. She's got her own fleet. She sends out these bounty hunters. Dr. Raffer is captured. And it is not that she wants her dead. She just wanted her to be captured so she can negotiate a deal with Dr. Raffer. And this deal ends up being a high-priced target that she wants Dr. Aphra to get, and that is a High Republic artifact called the Path Engine, which was developed by the Nile, which is said to improve the light speed function of ships, which would do bad business for the character of Domina Tag and her whole business. So that is what the crux of the story is. Dr. Aphra does say she needs a partner, and she mentions Son of Stars, and that's how we end this issue. So a lot of cool stuff in this issue when they mention that they put a bounty on Dr. Afro. One of the images on one of these many screens happened to look a lot like Valance, Baylor Valance, who we have from the Bounty Hunters issue. So I really hope that we do see some kind of crossover eventually between Dr. Afro and Baylor Valance. That'd be sweet. Also, there's a really cool bounty hunter that captures Dr. Afro. He basically looks like a green version of Black Manta from DC Comics. So really cool stuff there. Also, we get our weekly dose, at least from the Marvel Star Wars comics, of the High Republic references. And I liked seeing that the Nile are mentioned. And we know from the Great Disaster, they had something probably to do with the hyperspace. So, again, it has something to do with the Nile and it has something to do with hyperspace efficiency and whatnot. So, really cool stuff there. And Domina Tag, she's confident. She's cool. She's collected. She sits down one on one with Dr. Afra who we know is very unpredictable and she's just so confident in her ways that her safety is guaranteed. She has a race shield that sets up around Dr. Afra and ends up, you know, really owning Dr. Afra in that moment to say, hey, you work for me. Like, this is not going to work if it's just, you know, you demanding things. So it's pretty cool to see this character being maybe we don't know about her like physical prowess yet. At least I don't know from Legends or anything like that. But it seems like at least from an intellect level, she didn't get where she is just by being, you know, kind of dumb all the time. Like, she knows what she's doing, and it's cool to see a character like that in the Dr. Afra comics. So, getting to the next issue, this one's from IDW. We have Star Wars Adventures, issue number two. This is, remember, the relaunch of this series. We have two stories, as always. The first one is called The Obstacle Course, part two. This is the final uh, issue in this arc and this one is in a sequel trilogy in between the last jedi and the rise of skywalker we have ray and poe who prepared an obstacle course on this planet that thought was uninhabited for ray and they get there and they soon find out no there's a lot of scoundrels and smugglers here that want to take advantage of the bounty from the first order that they know is on ray and they see ray and they get the characters of finn and poe captured and ray gets back and saves them and fights off a lot of bad guys, and they end up getting out of there alive, obviously, because, you know, the Rise of Skywalker exists and all of that. But all in all, the story was, it was fine. It wasn't groundbreaking. It wasn't mesmerizing. It had a lot of cool action, a lot of cool visuals, and that's pretty much what I have to say about that one. The other one we have is called Follow and Lead, and this one is also set during the same exact time period between the events of The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. We know that because Kylo Ren is now called the Supreme Leader after he defeats Snoke. So we do see Kylo Ren. He has like basically inner monologues this entire time about him and his responsibility as a leader for the First Order and how, about how he compares himself all the time to Vader. So very much that same kind of mentality of Vader. He at one point is giving a speech and somebody in the crowd on this specific planet that I don't remember the name of actually tries to attack him. And, well, he ends up tracking down this person. They say a few words to him, and he lets them on their way. And then after that, just departs the entire planet. 
I had serious problems with this because this is not looking like the Kylo Ren that I've seen in the movies. It does not seem like in his character that, especially in the same issue, he's mentioning stuff about Vader and the power of the First Order. And then he just straight up leaves the planet. I didn't really buy into that as far as like me understanding that his character is the same as in the movies. But hey, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys enjoyed that, but I did not enjoy that one as much as our first issue of Star Wars Adventures, which had that great backup story with the Battle of Hoth and Vader storming Echo Base with the Snowtroopers. I thought that was fantastic. But those were the comics that came out this week. Did you pick up any of them? What ones are you reading? Let's talk about it in the comment section down below for more on Star Wars. I just put up my review for Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, the brand new VR game for the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Quest 2. Also, to all my friends out there in the United States, as this video goes live, it'll also be Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Hope you all stay safe and well. That is going to do it for me, Star Raptor. Thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you always. Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me, and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.